you might have heard, Kirsten Nielsen is out as Homeland Security Secretary. President Trump doubles down on his crackdown at the border. U.S. Customs and Border Protection Commissioner Kevin McAleenan will become the acting DHS secretary. Now, this comes as the president is reportedly planning a massive overhaul to fix the crisis, he tweeted. More apprehensions, captures at the southern border than in many years. Border patrol, amazing. Country is full. System has been broken for many years. Democrats in Congress must agree to fix loopholes. No open borders, crimes and drugs. Will close southern border if necessary. Democrats are seizing on the news and criticizing Nielsen for her time as secretary. Watch this. For the rest of her life, people will look at her and think, oh, that's the woman who put children in cages. That's the woman who broke up families across the border. And you know what? They'll be right. She has been a disgrace as Secretary of Homeland Security, and she leaves behind a legacy of separating families, caging children. You almost have to feel sorry for Nielsen. I don't feel sorry for her, but almost, because, you know, she is willing to violate the dictates of humanity, morality, and ethics, but she's not actually willing to break the law. Kirsten Nielsen will be known uh, for implementing a cruel policy of forcibly separating parents and children. But White House Deputy Press Secretary Hogan Gidley says this just proves that Democrats' priorities are not on protecting the homeland. I do find it kind of interesting that the media is so focused on what happened behind the scenes uh, with the resignation of Secretary Nielsen instead of worrying about what's actually happening at the border. And we have a crisis down there, an emergency, and the media refuses to focus on that, but instead wants to talk about palace intrigue. And acting White House Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney also doubling down on the criticism of Democrats' handling of immigration. In fact, and I know it's hard to imagine, but again, Nancy Pelosi runs the Democrats in Congress. Mexico has done more in the last week to help our illegal immigration crisis than Nancy Pelosi and, and Democrats in the House. So that's been a pretty good week. All right, we're going to take it around the table. We've got to start with you, Greg. Yes, uh, I just find it richly ironic when Jeffrey Tubin accuses anybody of breaking up families. Mm. Oh. So anyway, and the other thing is, let's remember where that story started when those pictures first came out in the media yeah. on Twitter. Those were pictures that were from the time when President Obama was president. So this was a problem that was the splitting up of families that was shared by both families. This is the first time in probably recent history that we have a non-politician trying to solve a problem that was shared by both parties. We can agree that this is a responsible, I mean, this is the responsibility of Democrats and Republicans. Okay, you got to look at Trump as a general manager of a sports team. The situations are not dictated by the players, right? The players are dictated by the situation. So when the situation requires a fix, he replaces people to affect the situation. It's, so it's like baseball. If the current lineup isn't working, you say you, you bench the guy or you get rid of the guy, you trade the guy for somebody else. That's all he does, and he sees if it works. Uh, and again, and I've said this before, the person who takes the long-term solution will never be treated sympathetically. Um, long-term solutions are, always seem harsh in the short term, you know, the yeah. media are the media are the children who want ice cream for breakfast, right? The, the Trump is the parent saying, "No, you know what? To be a healthy adult, you're going to have to eat like this." <laughs> so eat the, your greens. Eat your greens. The, 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 he, what, what Trump is trying to do is affect the long-term solution that that will remain that way after he's out of office, knowing that he's sacrificing so much capital. Everybody hates him for being the parent. The media, especially, because they're the children. The children who basically pushed this lie that it was the this was the first. The administration to separate families. It is the truth. Oh, really? uh, the Remember truth those pictures? Is, no, hang on. The truth is that Obama on. was dealing with unaccompanied minors. Here you have families. So you have moms and children who were separated by Nielsen. And yes, the second and point, why? Again, I think that it's Ill not only is Explain it illegal, why. it's unethical and immoral. So but what do you I do? So you put them in the same position? No. In the same, like, I'm just saying, what you said was strangers. True. It's just not true what you said. But I'm going to say so something else. So it was else. working perfectly. It wasn't working. We have a different kind of issue now with so many uh, families and children with why? those families. Why? Why? Because, and again, I just want to say, does this, does all that he's done make you feel safer? Getting rid of Nielsen, getting rid of the Secret Service. It seems to me this is so dangerous in terms of our national security. We saw today from the brain room, this guy has more cabinet positions gone but than everybody going way back. I mean, okay, it's unbelievable. Sticking on, sticking on immigration, Katie, your thoughts, of course. Um, 
Kirsten Nielsen, I think, in some ways was in an impossible situation, right? She yeah. has to, she's confined by the law. Right. The president doesn't like the law. A lot of people don't like the law, but Congress won't fix the law. Yeah. And so she wasn't able to be tougher in the way that he wanted. So as Greg said, maybe you change the player. This has been a long time coming. This is not some rash decision that President Trump made. Kirsten Nielsen has been on the rocks for a long time with President Trump. She's been able to solidify her position for a couple of months, but this is something that was inevitably going to come. It's very difficult for any Department of Homeland Security secretary to do anything more than they're doing now with this influx of people due to the way that the system is set up with the catch and release. Now, there is hope with McAleenan because he does have a good relationship with people on Capitol Hill. He worked for Barack Obama and was on the front lines of this crisis when it started in 2014. And to, as to Greg said, the photos that everybody was saying belonged to the Obama administration about the children being in cages, those were from 2014. And we at Town Hall and at Breitbart were some of the only reporters in the entire media who were actually publishing those photos and warning about the crisis that was coming. So McAleenan has seen this from the beginning. He knows what needs to be done. And hopefully he can work with um, committees like the Senate Judiciary Committee, where the attorneys there working on immigration know what needs to be fixed so they can actually come up with something to change this. And one more thing, you know, all these Democrats are talking about how horrible Kirsten Nielsen was, that she was a terrible person for separating parents and children. Well, if you break the law in America and go to prison, you get separated from your family, first of all. Second of all, what is their solution? They're, they're name calling a whole lot, but they're not putting any legislation on the, t on the table to actually solve the problem, which sets up a talking point for them for years to come in 10, 20 years when you're saying all these children were brought here by their parents illegally, mm -hmm. should we have a dreamer program from them as well? It's a whole nother system that they're setting up in political capital that they are, are gauging okay. off of right now. Jesse, in the time we have remaining, I'll give you the floor. Think about it for a second. You have America, the greatest country on the face of the earth that can't stop foreigners from coming here and staying here because of dumb laws and dumber politicians. We're erasing our own borders ourselves. If you think about it, person in Central America, grab a kid, your kid, any kid, doesn't matter, mm -hmm. hop on a caravan, come up north, set one foot in Texas, and we can't do anything about it. Your kid, whosoever it is that you're bringing there, they're a dreamer, their kid, they're going to be a citizen. You yourself, you go to California, you're going to get welfare, you're going to get a driver's license, you're going to get health care, you commit a felony, no one's even going to deport you. You can do whatever you want. So the Democrats, they want this situation to be status quo. They don't care about families being separated. If they did, they'd do something to fix it. Pelosi had an opportunity herself when she cut the deal with Trump last month. Did she offer an asylum fix, a detention fix? She offered literally nothing except a few more beds. So when the Democrats talk, don't listen to them. I don't even hear what they're saying. Look what they're doing, and they're absolutely doing nothing. Well, well and then they tried to cut the beds. Remember, they tried to cut the number yeah, of beds that, that ICE was allowed to well, have? Well, you know what? You take a look at what the Republicans, what Trump's doing. It seems to me that whenever Trump runs into a complex situation, he has a simple solution, and he decides that he wants to go beyond the law. The and that's what happened with Kirsten Nielsen. She went in there yesterday afternoon at 5 o'clock. She didn't turn to resign. And he's telling her, stop this. Just stop people from applying for asylum. Kick people out. Get rid of the judges. Get rid of the judges. Again, Juan has wow. no solution. All he does oh, is yeah. pot No, shot. I have solutions. You have We've nothing, gone Juan. over them last Greg week. Greg asked you what they were. You I had told nothing you. to last say. Last week, I told you when I said... Well, your party has need? no solution. That's not true. Everybody agrees we need more detention facilities, more judges. We need more... All right, you guys, I don't want the this. producer yelling at me anymore because of you. All right.